Welcome to Electron Online. Here we have an example that illustrates how to set up your trigonometric equation with the correct phase angle under the particular initial conditions. We have a mass that's connected to a spring that the mass have a mass of 4 kilogram, the spring has a spring constant of 400 newtons per meter, and we want to know its position when time is equal to 1.375 seconds. But at time equals zero, the velocity is equal to the maximum velocity of the motion, which is equal to 5 meters per second. Well, it's a positive 5 meters per second, and it's the maximum velocity that it can have, which means that the object must be at the equilibrium point. And the object must be moving to the right, v equals v max, which in this case is equal to 5 meters per second. Here's the spring. The spring constant k is equal to 400 newtons per meter, and the mass of the object m is equal to 4 kilograms. So what would the equation look like that defines that particular motion? It cannot be y equals 8 times the cosine of omega t, because that would place the block at its farthest point away from the equilibrium point, where x equals a, the maximum amplitude. That means that the, the, it should be shifted by a certain amount, and let's see here, it's at the zero position, the, if, we draw the, the, if we draw the function y equals a times the cosine of omega t, it looks like this. But we want the equation in such a way that we actually start at the zero point, like this, which means that the equation must be shifted to the right one quarter of a cycle which means we need a phase shift equal to minus pi over 2. The equation then becomes y is equal to a, or I shouldn't be using y in this case, I want to use x. So let me keep using x because that's what I've been using before. x is equal to a times the cosine of omega t minus pi over 2. Pi over 2, that's 90 degrees, that's a quarter of a cycle, and we want to shift the equation to the right by a quarter of a cycle because then at t equals 0, Remember that the horizontal axis is time, the vertical axis I call x, which means that the equation will have been shifted to the right by one quarter of a cycle, which is pi over 2. And that's the right equation to use in this case. So we can define x as a function of time is equal to the amplitude times the cosine of omega t minus pi over 2. And now this equation will allow us to find the proper position when time is equal to 1.375 seconds. Of course, we still need some value for omega. We know that omega is equal to the square root of k over m. In this case, that's equal to the square root of k, which is 400, divided by m, which is 4. That's equal to the square root of 100, which is equal to 10. So omega, in this case, is 10. So x, when time is equal to 1.375 seconds, is equal to, did I give a an amplitude, I didn't give a maximum amplitude, so let me add that as well. Let's call A, the maximum amplitude, to be 10 centimeters. We're going to need that in the equation here. That's equal to 10 centimeters times the cosine of omega, which is 10 times the time, 1.375 seconds, minus pi divided by 2. So this becomes x as a function of time equal 1.375 is equal to 10 centimeters times the cosine of 13.75 minus pi divided by 2. And now I need my calculator. Remember, the calculator should be in radian mode to get the correct answer here. 13 point, actually I'm going to take pi, pi divided by 2, make that a minus sign, and add to that, add to that 13.75, then take the cosine of that. And I will get 0 0.926, 0 0.926, which is equal to 9.26 centimeters. Rounding off the two significant figures, that would be 9.3 centimeters, which would be the position of the block 1.375 seconds after the clock started, and the, mo the clock started the moment that the block was moving to the right at 5 meters per second. So that's why you always have to be careful what equation you use to solve for position, velocity, and time. If it requires a phase angle, you can usually figure it out by the initial conditions given. 
if the initial conditions are given in such a way that the block starts at the maximum displacement in the positive direction, use y equals the cosine of omega t. But if it's in any other situations, you must either include a phase angle or use a different function, a cosine or a sine, sine instead of a cosine, for example. So always be careful of the phase angle, and here's a perfect example of why we need to do that.